So our first stop is the Telefair Museum. We're gonna go in there and check it out. Supposedly has a lot of art to look at, so we're excited about this one. Let's go in. This is your little ticket. Telephone, she was the last of her descent. So, to immortalize her family, she ended up giving her home with strict instructions to the state of Georgia that it would have to be an art and science uh, center. So yeah, when you come to Savannah, this is the statue that they always talk about. Yeah, that's so, pretty cool. But this may be one of six, because I think they said there were six of them. Ooh. So I'm not quite sure. I'll have to <laughs> do more research on that one. So this is a painting done at Bonaventure Cemetery in uh, 1816. 1816, it was done by someone named Henry Bovich. I butchered that one, but that's what it used to look like before it had all those thousands of graves. So what was that, some kind of whacking stick? Yeah, so imagine getting whacked upside the head with uh, that thing. I don't think that would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> well, leaves it that near <laughs> with the face on it. <laughs> it would be funny getting whacked with the head like that. Hey, do you think maybe he deserved it? Well, apparently if someone broke this guy's nose, and I don't know who actually did it, but... Do you think they used the whacking stick? Ooh, they whacked him with the whacking stick. I think stick. we found cause and effect here. to have 73 sculptures in it but now they're down to six <laughs> they must have really liked their sculptures kitchen. Um, this is where all the meals would have been made for the family. Um, as you can see, it's very basic though. Okay, so all these statues that are behind me, um, it says here in the app thing that in 1883, Carl Brandt was given over $20,000 and a ticket to Europe to get these statues and bring them back from Europe. What year? In 1883. Oh wow, $20,000. Yeah, he was given $20,000 to go get them and a ticket to Europe.
So we're now we're in the Jepson Center. This is like an independent collection of all kinds of exhibits and art. Should be educational. Definitely should be educational. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like you can pick up little things for the kids too. So we found out a little bit more about this place. It was built in 2006 and it has art and activities and educational opportunities. So as you can see behind me, I guess maybe before COVID this might have been open, but this looks like a play area for kids. Born. This one right here is a Picasso. It's the scenes designed for Pusinella, made in about 1920. This was another Picasso, and it was made in 1919. Disappears from the painting. That's kind of creepy. The terrace is closed. But we can still look through the window. But you can see what happened through the window. Looks like it's pretty cool when it's open. Yeah, right. We found another Picasso. It's sculpting painting stages. <laughs> Cool. Tell them what this is. Yes, this is an interactive exhibit where you actually, anytime you talk, make a noise, any kind of high spike or anything like that, the colors all change. Yeah, Great. so. Right? I could just stay here all day. These colors you could just make your uh, screensaver good. Break dance. Now both. Looks like Gage has uh, found something to play with here too. inside today because we have to get here extremely early. Yes, make reservations. Well, not, actually, I don't even think you can no, make you reservations. No, you can't. You have to actually go. So make, make sure if you're going to do all three of them, I would probably start with this one as early as you possibly yeah, can. Yeah, early in the morning as possible because they book up fast. Yeah. But it's this big, beautiful house behind us. But this is going to end our tour of the Telefair Museum and 
uh, Jepson and then the Owen Thompson house. So, oh, yeah. we, we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, if you did, remember to like and subscribe and possibly leave a comment below. Yeah. And uh, until our next video. We'll see you later. We'll see you later.